The king is one of the most protected personalities in the world. Wherever he goes, even in his palace, his security is the number one priority of all the people present there. But who are the people who protected this esteemed personality? They wear red clothes with bearskin hats on their heads and swear to protect the king at all costs. Then again, what makes the royal guard so unique? Apart from having the best soldiers in the world, what else does the royal guard possess to be of such high value? With that being said, let's head right into it. Despite tourists' taunts and attempts to crack the king's guard's discipline, they never break character and are always upright as if they're some sort of statue. But what happens when a royal guard comes face to face with people that take disrespecting them to a whole new level? The ceremony that we all know as the changing of the guards initially took place at the Palace of Whitehall until the monarchy had it moved to St. James Palace. The royal family then located to Buckingham Palace, however, even though the queen at the time had moved. A small selection of guards were left to guard the former queen's residence. Today, the royal guards are not only responsible for Buckingham Palace, but as well as many other royal buildings around the UK. Many tourists, along with residents, all gather to the grounds of St. James and Buckingham Palace to watch the changing of the guard ceremony. In this drill, which requires extreme precision, the previous shift hands over the duty of protection to the next shift as the responsibility changes from the old guard to the new guard. Now, it may be easy to mistake them for just ceremonial soldiers. However, I can assure you they are no laughing matter. These soldiers are extremely well-trained combat assassins and have the direct authority to fire or injure anyone if they feel that the king is in any sort of danger. Even though the SAAD rifle that the guards hold is not filled with live ammunition, there are certain occasions where the rifles are loaded in times which require high security and alert. With that being said, I wouldn't want to be touched by the pointy part of the muzzle. Who knows what that could cut through? The Royal Guards are not to be underestimated or messed with in any way. Each of them is a lethal and heavily trained soldier equipped with some of the best combat skills in the world. They are all subjected to extreme levels of psychometric testing and must pass certain physical criteria in order to even be considered. One in particular is height. Just a few years ago, the only way someone would be considered is if they were 6 feet and 2 inches, otherwise they would not be accepted. As of 2017, they quite literally lowered the bar and now allow people who are a minimum of 5'10 to be a part of the King's Guard. Now I know what you may be wondering, do these extremely well-trained guards speak? Well, the King's Guard will warn you if you're getting too close or respecting their traditions. It's very common for them to shout make way for the King's Guard at tourists who get too close. I must warn you, I wouldn't try to be funny with them. They can be extremely intimidating and don't get too close either. I think it's very easy to mistake them for someone who's never in a good mood. Well, there's an explanation for that. Did you know smiling and laughing is forbidden? I mean, it's as if they're not even a human but just a decorative piece of one of the royal buildings. Not even a beautiful girl could turn their heads. In fact, it's so frowned upon that soldiers who do happen to break character and smile are fined 260 pounds. I guess you could say that's one expensive smile. But it's not to say that it doesn't happen though. There are some tourists who do manage to make them crack. You could say that there are the most obedient people on the planet with extreme dedication and patience. A royal guard must never leave their post, standing to attention at all times no matter the circumstances. This even applies if they're going to faint. It can get quite hot under those bearskin caps, especially under the summer sun, and let's just say that a fainting guard isn't at all uncommon. However, if a guard starts feeling dizzy and starts seeing stars, they must go to extreme lengths and pay attention until they pass out. I mean, it's completely crazy, they even have a name for it, it's called fainting to attention. Now it may be easy to mistake them for just ceremonial soldiers, however, I can assure you they are no laughing matter. These soldiers are extremely well trained combat assassins and have the direct authority to fire or injure anyone if they feel that the king is in any sort of danger. Even though the SA-80 rifle that the guards hold is not filled with live ammunition, there are certain occasions where the rifles are loaded in times which require high security and alert. With that being said, I wouldn't want to be touched by the pointy part of the muzzle. Who knows what that could cut through. Enough of the seriousness. Despite them being some of the best trained assassins on the earth as we know it, they, just like every other human, do happen to have their own funny moments. They slip, trip, and make mistakes just like all of us do. The only difference between us and them is that people are always filming them. Here are some of the funniest clips. This guy needs to mind his step. Is anyone else seeing the banana peel this guy slipped on? Well, I guess besides being extremely well-trained assassins, they provide a laugh or two also. With the passing of the queen and the new king being crowned, I'm sure these guards will be trying to impress and looking to do their job even better. Let us know down in the comments below if you've ever come across these guards or even stepped on their feet, getting one of the reactions seen in this video. Until next time.